Rupert Murdoch is stepping down. The 92-year-old conservative media mogul founded and led companies including Fox News and News Corp, which holds news properties including The Mirror, The Sun, The New York Post, The Wall Street Journal, Vogue Australia, The Daily Telegraph, and Barron's. According to Forbes, Murdoch ranks in the top 100 richest people in the world, with an estimated net worth of $17 billion. Murdoch's notorious business practices and controversial holdings have made him a figure that stirs public imagination. Most popularly, the hit show Succession is thought to draw inspiration heavily from Rupert Murdoch and the Murdoch family, with similarities ranging from health scares, fake family therapy, multiple marriages, and more. Most importantly, Rupert Murdoch also lacked a clear succession plan for the majority of his career. The four of them will have to decide uh, which of the ones should lead them. We have four children. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, and my two, well, the two little girls are too young to consider this at the moment. The four kids have to decide who among them ought to be the heir apparent. In terms of power, yes, in terms of leadership, they'll get treated equally financially. But now that Murdoch is finally, suddenly stepping away and passing his media empire along to son Lachlan Murdoch, the parallels feel almost too close to ignore. So here's what you need to know about Rupert Murdoch, his empire, and the drama that has always followed it. Murdoch's career in media began over 70 years ago, when he inherited his father's interest in two Australian papers. His passion for tabloid journalism manifested early and became a hallmark of his business strategies moving forward. Do you, do you like the feeling of power you have as a newspaper proprietor, of being able to sort of formulate policies for a large number of newspapers in every state of Australia? Well, there's only one honest answer to that, of course, and that's yes. Uh, of course one enjoys the feeling of power. Although, if I can just hold you there for a minute, I think that this question of the power of newspaper proprietors can be greatly overdone. Um, we have certain, but we can, we have more responsibility than power, I think. The newspaper can uh, create great controversies, stir up uh, uh, arguments within the community, discussion, uh, can throw light on injustices, uh, just as it can do the opposite, it can hide things uh, and be a great power for evil. But scandals quickly started showing up on the wrong side of the printing process. In 2011, Murdoch's property News of the World came under fire for allegedly using bribery and hacking the voicemails of celebrities and story subjects. You coerced people into giving stories. We could phone hack who we liked, and we could listen to politicians, and we were completely untouchable. Everyone is a bit scared of you because you've got the power to destroy their lives. An inquiry by the British Parliament found that Murdoch willfully overlooked these practices. Murdoch's New America Marketing, which is responsible for a lot of the ads you see in supermarkets, was accused of illegally spying on a competitor's computer system. And of course, throughout the past several years, Murdoch properties such as Fox News have grappled with multiple hosts and executives being accused of sexual harassment. Fox News are getting record ratings. Yeah. And so I'm not worried at all. And you don't think Ofcom are going to consider what's happening at Fox News? Will it enter Nothing's their happening at Fox News. Nothing. Okay. You lost three of your top people. That's something, isn't it? There's a sexual or racial harassment allegation. Not the third person at all. Nothing against him. And the other two are quite separate. Everybody. This past year, Fox News was served with a defamation lawsuit claiming that the outlet helped push conspiracy theories that the 2020 presidential election was rigged. People did illegally vote. That's going to happen. That is the official account before even counting the votes from a key swing state in the middle of a contested election. And of course, you can believe it because we've already found illegal voting. So much for those claims that voter fraud never happens. Of course it happens. They knew it happened when they told us it would never happen because they're liars. So we know that for sure. At this stage, the fraud that we can confirm does not seem to be enough to alter the election results. We should be honest and tell you that. Of course, that could change. The company ultimately paid more than $787 million to settle the claim. It's up for debate whether the Fox News political ethos will change after Murdoch's departure. The platform often sided with President Trump throughout his presidency, but has also found itself at odds with the popular Republican candidate since 2021. It is widely believed that successor Lachlan Murdoch holds hard right beliefs similar to and possibly surpassing his father's, though time will tell whether he brings a new perspective to the media conglomerate. 
Higher ups at these companies have often dismissed practices of intimidation, bribery, and unethical reporting as individual decisions made by lesser employees. I think the senior executives <coughs> who are all informed, and I, uh, we're all uh, misinformed and uh, shielded from anything that was going on there. There's no question in my mind uh, that maybe even the editor, but certainly uh, beyond that, uh, someone took charge of a, of a cover-up, uh, which we were victim to, and I regret. But a lack of emphasis on journalistic integrity has been a consistent criticism against these properties. Rupert Murdoch has controlled huge swaths of the media industry for decades and has wielded a massive influence. He helped pioneer 24-7 news, challenge existing TV powerhouses, elevate tabloid reporting to new highs, and fostered intimate ties with political figures. While Murdoch is leaving his formal role as chairman of Fox Corps and News Corps, he is still planning on being involved, writing in a memo to employees that I can guarantee you that I will be involved every day in the contest of ideas. But one thing is sure, one of the biggest players in the game is finally out, and we have to wait and see what's gonna happen next.